type of man I wanted, and I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love, and we're having a really good time, and I'm enjoying life. So there is hope, women. Hey y'all, welcome back. So tonight we're talking about Tina Knowles Lawson and Mr. Richard Lawson. I don't know why I'm calling him Mr. Anyways, um, they got a divorce, allegedly. We don't know for sure. And I don't, I'm not trying to be sued by Beyonce or her mom. But they got a divorce, allegedly. And it's messy. It's hella messy. Her daughters are coming out, they're talking, and right now it's just too much going on. First of all, my first thing is, why is this lady married for the second time, but she still kept her ex-husband's last name? I know that's Beyonce's last name, and I guess she wants to use it to keep her popular popularity, and she also wants to benefit from it, but Mr. Richard, you didn't see that was a red flag from the beginning? that this lady still kept her ex-husband's last name even though he wasn't like an angel um what's his name beyonce's dad was not an angel he cheated on her multiple times he had two children on her multiple times and i think the second child was the last straw that's when they ended up getting a divorce right so yeah he wasn't like an angel where you're like oh i'm going to keep the name because he was such a lovely man we had a great relationship i mean for 30 years 30 years is a long time so if that's the case yes i probably would have kept the name if we were so cordial and we had a great relationship i would have kept the name right because one it gives her it has a lot of benefits to her for her and plus it's beyonce's last name so if she's attached to that last name it's going to always ring bell whenever people hear tina Knowles, right but sis, why did you keep the last name? Make it make sense. Like, I never understood that. And the fact that he never fought for her to change her last name was already a red flag. And then, after seeing a bunch of interviews where she was clearly disrespecting the man on live TV, the man is not just like a Joe down the street. He's an actor, right? As a woman who carried herself a certain way, which I respect her for that. She always carried herself a certain way. She always looked really, really nice. You know, you will not even catch her at the airport, honey, without her red lipstick. She always carried herself a certain way. I was so shocked. I was shook it that she would talk to her husband like that on national television. Like, I understand maybe, you know, behind the scene. But I'm like, if she talks to her like that, if, he, if she talks to him like that on TV, imagine how he, she talks to him when they're at home. Right? So that was the first thing I noticed. The whole last name, keeping the last name, and then the way she was talking to him, talking about, oh, well, he's not perfect. And he's like, I'm not perfect. She's like, no, you're not perfect. <laughs> I was like, girl, whoa, okay? But then, okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to how they met. So 30 years prior, when Beyonce's mom, now they're trying to make it seem like Beyonce was only 30 years old is only 30 years old because they're saying that Beyonce's mom was pregnant with Beyonce when uh, when Richard went to a friend's house allegedly and saw Tina a pregnant Tina at at a friend's house and he fell in love so that was weird because he was already she was already pregnant with another man's kid and she was married and he that's the messy part he was also married at the time and he had a family so he fell in love with her, but you know they say that Beyonce allegedly and her mom dabbles in the dark arts, right? So she probably had some little, you know, Jezebel oil on or some attraction oil on, and he just could not get over her for 30 years. Imagine waiting for someone for 30 whole years and then finally got married to them. That's a lot of dedication. I give him a lot of props. And only for the marriage to last only 10 years. I was like, whoa. Like, it's not like, like, he, he, they cheated, he didn't cheat, she didn't cheat, at least from what came out, it didn't look like, it didn't seem like he cheated, but it was her disrespect that ended the relationship, according to Solange, according to what her kids are saying, well, not Beyonce, you know Beyonce don't talk, but, <laughs> but, um, according to what the media is putting out that her children alleg allegedly said, Solange, you know Solange, she be talking, so, she was just disrespecting the man and we could see from the interview in our face she was disrespecting the man so we're like whoa what is going on so anyways mr lawson at the time 30 years prior went to a friend house saw a very pregnant tina Lowe's with beyonce at the time i'm assuming beyonce 
which I'm sure Beyonce is not 40. I mean, she's not 30. If they're saying it was 30 years ago, I'm pretty sure she was probably pregnant with Solange. But that's beside the point. She was pregnant. He fell in love with her, and they continued to be friends for over 30 years, even though he was married. Now, I don't understand. I don't believe that they were only friends, right? I don't believe they were only friends for 30 years because they stay in the same friend circle, and all of a sudden, they, they decide to get married. 30 years? Mm -hmm. Anyways, so 30 years later, they ended up re rekindling their relationship, and then one day, they were at a party or whatever, and Blue Ivy, Beyonce's daughter... So they got married for 10 years. How old is Blue Ivy now? Because they were married for 10 years. Blue Ivy's not that old. But apparently Blue Ivy came up to them and said, oh, you guys look really cute. <laughs> of course, they're going to give like a little children. Oh, the child said, you know, so we fell in love like that. Oh, you guys look really cute. When are you guys going to get married? Like she was that smart to say, when are you guys going to get married? Like you guys look really cute. When are you guys going to get married? I mean, I understand like... I don't know. I don't know. It's it's giving like a made up a whole made up story. But they said Blue Ivy said that um, oh you guys look cute. When are you guys gonna get married? And then he said soon to Blue Ivy, as in like he's gonna marry her soon. And then fast forward like a few months later, they got married. Very small and intimate. Only family was there. Beyonce looked happy. He even asked for Beyonce and Solange's hand and or their permission to marry the mom. I thought it was a so cute so cute men like that don't men don't do that stuff no more please anyway so he asked he asked their their children for her hand in marriage which is super cute i love that because he gave off like a whole you know traditional and i love that and marriage and they agreed and they all attended the wedding it was very nice because we saw some pictures but it was very intimate and private you know all that jazz and then fast forward 10 years later they're getting a divorce but the problem is before they came out that they were getting a divorce miss tina Knowles' uh home was broken into right and then apparently some laptop was missing she was out of town allegedly they all they're always out of town when things happen they're never in the house and some way somehow the person who broke into the house allegedly knew exactly where the safe was and they stole the laptop and then like after they they announced that they were getting a divorce mr lawson's whole internet search came out where he was looking at some really interesting things on the internet but i think they're just doing that to cover up the whole story of why they broke up because after they said that, and that's when Tim, um, Solange came out and said, you know, the mom was disrespectful and she she just doesn't respect him and blah, blah, blah. But we already knew that. We knew that. We knew that. Because we saw it in the, in the interview. <laughs> we saw it in the interview. But I think that is kind of a cover up to what exactly happened at Miss Lawson's house when it was broken into. Because Mr. Lawson had some interesting things that he was looking at on the internet. Allegedly. I don't know anything. Okay, all I'm doing is just reading what the internet streets is saying. <laughs> but allegedly, he had some fishy stuff that he was looking at on the internet. And I don't think, at his big age, I don't think he realized that people could see his likes, right? You know when you go and you like like a big booty picture? <laughs> you like like a big booty picture? People can see that you like the picture. I don't think he knew that, that he liked the picture. But I think that's what they're insinuating is the reason why they got a divorce. But Solange... I don't know if this was a false story. I don't know if I would be saying anything like that about my mother on the internet. But she was saying that her mother can be very disrespectful. You know, she's very hard to deal with. And that's, that could be one of the reasons why her, her father... Her father went in and had two affairs, probably more, but he had children with two separate people. He had a first child. She ended up forgiving him, and they stayed. And then she had another. he had another child with another person, and I think that's when they ended everything. But even after Beyonce's father got married and his new wife has the new last name, which is Knowles, she still kept the last name. And I'm just like, girl... Like, first of all, what is, um, what's Beyonce's father's name? What's his name? Matthew. What does Matthew's new wife say about the last name? Because how is the, how is the ex-wife just walking around with the same last name? I mean, I know I'm not married. 
so i don't know how these things work i don't know if the wife should be okay with it it's just weird that she's okay with it and it's just weird that matthew is okay with it it's just weird that mr lawson is okay with it i'm just like yo what does this lady have of the men that she's dating and Anyways, yeah, this is the story about the whole Tina Knowles and Matthew Lawson's thing. It's just a little fishy. It's just a lot going on, and I'm just kind of confused about the whole story. But I hope they both, you know, divorce in a proper way and just go with their life. But I, I did think, I did think they were a cute couple until I saw like videos of them, like her disrespecting him at an interview in front of the whole world in the worldwide stage you're disrespecting a man who is not just like i said not just like the fry cook down the down the street like t, t i always said the fry cook down the street he's a well-known actor but you're disrespecting him on the internet i don't know i think he just had enough of it he had enough of her disrespect and he thought you know like they say whatever glitters is not always gold so he thought she was gold and turned out she's only full school <laughs> she's only some pyrite girl or some just full school and that could be the reason why jay-z is treating on beyonce 24 7 because you know the apple usually don't fall far from the tree <laughs>